guys, I'm going to show you how I inoculate my jars with one of our spore syringes that are now available on Etsy. Um, check out our Etsy, Etsy site. We have four different varieties right now. This one is our local Elm Oyster, but I'm actually going to be inoculating some jars with shiitake. Um, First thing you want to do is sterilize your substrate. I just use straight up sawdust because I'm going to be inoculating some shiitake spores to try to breed my next generation. But it's all the same principle. So if you don't have a sterile fumoid, you can wipe the surface with alcohol and that will sterilize the surface. Um, I cut a hole in the lid. So there's a port that I'm going to inject the needle and then inoculate five mils of spores. And then this is what will happen in about three weeks. Um, you'll get some mycelial growth and then you can use this as your spawn. We also sell commercial size syringes that I used to inoculate about 50 jars. Um, but that would require a, a little bit more extensive hood or very sterile technique. So after you wipe the lid, um, you want to get yourself some micro pour tape. This is about 50 cents a roll, and you'll you'll want to get this ready. So after you inoculate your spores, you'll cover it with the micro pour tape, and that will prevent any more bacteria from getting in. Um, I usually do about. Sorry about that. I usually do about two layers of microbore tape after I inoculate, and that way it will prevent any contaminants from getting in your jar. So another thing you could do, if you don't have a fume hood, is take a lighter and pop the lid off of this very carefully. Um, it's very sharp. They should come sterile, and I recommend a one-time use, but if you're going to be reusing these or you opened it accidentally in the setting that you're going to be inoculating. You can always re-sterilize the needle by flaming it until it's red. And you want to wait a few seconds till it cools off. And in the meantime, you can get your pour tape ready, and then you're going to want to insert it, inoculate, inoculate at a few different points so the spores get really deep. Take your spore tape, label your jar, and in a couple weeks time, should have some healthy mycelium growing. Now these are all liquid cultures so they should already be selected for optimal growth and we test all of our syringes on a growth on a micro plate so we make sure that they're free of contaminants. All right well that's how we inoculate our jars and I'm excited to see how the shiitake comes out. Um, check out the rest of our videos on YouTube and check out our Etsy if you want to get some liquid culture yourself.